What's up, everyone? I'm gonna talk about, today. I'm gonna talk about the DE1 development board by Altera. Uh, today, I'm gonna show you how to quick set up uh, the board, installed, uh, uh, create a quick uh, VHDL program, run it, and uh, hopefully, maybe if I got time, simulate it. If you don't have the board, this board is not cheap. Obviously, here are the prices. Um, it's a nice board. Uh, it's a nice training board. It comes with LEDs, uh, seven seven. Uh, display it has a bunch of cool stuff that you could use even it comes with the SD card reader anyways before you could use the board itself you first um oh let me show you how to sh get to this page if you go to your browser and you search Altera you're gonna go ahead and look at the first link the FPGA link click on that one go ahead over to training university programs click on that go ahead here go to development board click on that and right here there you go we got the DE1 so that's how you get to this page. Go ahead and go to the download center to download the software. And what you're gonna do, you're gonna download this one, the web package. It's free. The quarters two web package. Right now they're on 13, so it doesn't matter. We're gonna use 13, and it's free. It's just a it's a huge file. It's gonna take a while, but since I'm only I'm using the DE1 this board in specific, I'm only gonna download the Cyclone 2 uh, chips, uh, you know, related files. Because it comes with, um, it gives you the option to download Cyclo 1 stuff and all these different chipset. But I'm only going to use this just to make the downloading quicker. Like I said, it's a huge file to download and it does take a while to install. Alright, once you uh, finish installing and downloading, we're going to go ahead and run the program. And when you first, um, when you first, uh, let me close this. Let me go ahead and close this. When you first uh, install, uh, plug in your board for the first time in your computer. Of course, you you know you, this is what it's going to look like, but your computer is not going to recognize um, the board, the device. So what you're going to do is you're going to manually install the drivers. Just go to Device Managers and install the drivers. You should know how to do that by now. Okay, so that's what it looks like when you install it. Uh, let me go ahead and open. Ah, uh, let's. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and create a quick folder right here on my desktop. Just uh for uh, this little project. I'm going to just call it LED and uh, that's where I'm going to put everything that we're going to work on right now. Go ahead and um, open your Quartus 2 software and this is the free version so of course all this stuff is going to pop up. I'm going to go ahead and create a new project. I'm going to go ahead and click next. I'm going to go ahead to the um, folder that I just created in my desktop. I'm going to go ahead and pick that folder and we have that. I'm gonna need the project LED, and then the, this is important. I'll show you why. Right on. Click next. Click next. And like I said, I'm only uh, we're gonna be using the Cyclone 2 um, chipsets. And uh, if you go over here, if you go back here, this is the guy that we're gonna be using. Okay, the EP20 F48 C7. So go ahead, open, and look for that guy. Um, nope. Nope. Yep. This takes a while. And you got to do this every single time you do a project, which is a better, uh, faster way to do this. If anybody knows, just uh, hit me up and. Put suggestion on the bottom how to get this quicker. So there it is there's the um, the chip that we're gonna be using. Go ahead and click next. Go ahead and click next, and now uh, here's all my information. And go ahead and click finish. So there it is. So uh, once we got that done, we're gonna go ahead and open a new file, and we're gonna create a you know we got Verilog. We're gonna use VHDL file. Go ahead and click OK, and there it is. Now, if you don't, to write comments, you know, you just do dash dash and you write whatever. Dash dash, dash. that's just to write comments. Uh, we're just going to use a quick, we're going to write a quick program uh, just to turn on and off the LEDs on the training board using the switches that are in there. Alright, AAA. Let's see. Uh, the nice thing about it is that it gives these things, these options pop out, so you just got to hit enter you know make the coding quicker the entity 
uh, make sure the entity has the same name that you name your file when you first created your project. So see how it's, mine says LED? It has to match the same name. Is now we're gonna need the ports and uh, my switches. I'm gonna be in my in. That's gonna be my input. Let's see, logic vector. Now this thing has uh, nine switches, so I'm gonna use all nine. It's a parentheses. Uh, what I do here? This is wrong. It's my bed there. There you go. All right. And go ahead. Let me call in. Now my LED R. That means my red LEDs. And uh, VHDL. It's not case sensitive, so you can just put it, it, this it, LED R. It's the same thing as L. E D R. It doesn't matter. It's not case is it? So anyways, L E D R. This is my output. Let's see logic. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use all nine. So I'm gonna use the vector. And once again I'm gonna do from nine down to zero. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and close that and close that. So I already declared my inputs and I declare my outputs. So we're gonna end it. We're gonna end it in the entity. LED. Go ahead and click that. So the architecture, the body, the architecture, behavior of LED is begin. Let me begin the program. LEDR uh, LEDR equals the switch. So that means that <coughs> that means that for every, each LED matching, like LED zero will turn on LED uh, at the, the switch zero will turn on LED the red LED zero and so on and so on. And we, you know how we declare it here in the vector. If you just want to do a specific one, you could just do this. Uh, but uh, I'm going to just go ahead and use all of them. So I'm just going to play LED R switch zero. So this is the simplest program you could write. And uh, this is just a quick show of how to use the bore. So before we could do anything, before we could run it or anything, well, you could just go, let's, let's compile it, see if um, we find any errors. Hopefully everything runs smooth. Go ahead, click yes, save. And it's running. Oh, it's an error somewhere. And the nice thing is that it tells you where I made the mistake. So, line two. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. this is wrong right here. I meant to, uh, it's the 164. Yeah. There you go. That should be it. Let's go ahead and run it. So total pins 20. It shows you here. And then um, it's running. You can give a bunch of warnings and stuff. Shows all the information here. And uh, see, zero errors, seven warnings. That's fine. Over here on the left hand side, full compilation was successful. 12 warrants. All right, that's fine. All right, beautiful. It's working. So, um, the, if you go right here and you go to your pin planner and you look at your pin planner, it says here it is. Let's go ahead and click that. Hang on, this is not what I want to show you. The assignment editor, you go here and you see it's empty. And, uh, you know, you go, you, you know, you have to assign them by one one if you want to. It's a pain in the butt. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have minimize this and on the same page that we got this guy, I'm gonna scroll down here 
and you will see so it's quarter to 75 with pin assignment if you click that this is the file we're going to download i'm just going to go ahead and right click it save link guys and i'm going to save it on the desktop and if you minimize it there it is so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to assignment and i'm going to import the assignments Browse to my browser, my desktop, and there is my QSF file. Open it up, click OK, and if you go back to your assignment editor, bam, <coughs> it did everything automatically for you. See how many, see if I would have done this manually one by one, it would have taken forever. And as you can see, here's all my switches, the location, this is the value. So, perfect. Everything's working. I'm going to go ahead and, um, Compile the game real quick. Shouldn't take long. Okay. So what we're gonna do? Uh, we're gonna go ahead and um, load the program to the chip to the board. So I'm gonna go ahead and program device. Double click that. And uh, make sure that you, you have your hardware uh, set up and make sure you have US, USB blaster on. You know, make sure that's on before you do anything. Go ahead, click OK. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go here and add file. And you're going to go to your output file. And you're going to load the SOF file. So you go ahead, open that. And this will come up. And then as soon as that come up, you're going to see that the start button it's enable able so go ahead and click that start and boom, right away 100% successful good close that and then it changes I'm gonna minimize that and this is what you're supposed to get when you run it uh, see so you can see just the switches it's just a simple program like I said you know we had a vector from 9 to 0 and uh, you know, it just turns out it's LED on and off whenever the switch is so simple enough. But if you don't have the pro, if you don't have the board, that's fine. Uh, I understand it's a little bit pricey. So what you can do, you can also simulate it. So what you're going to do is you're going to head click the new file, and if we go over here where it says uh, University Program VWF, go ahead and click that. And this will pop out. And what you do is you're gonna what you're gonna do is you're just gonna say insert, edit, insert, nodes or bus. Node finder, click on that. Go to list. See, it automatically puts all everything that we use. I'm gonna hit click this one, copy all selections, and move it over here. Then press OK, and then OK. So these are all the LEDs. And this is my switches, and this is my LEDs. So if I'm going to click that, and I'll make these guys high. See how it shows that uh, one, 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 one. You know, made all these guys high. And if I change one guy, if I let's change one of these guys. So once we uh, run the simulation. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Run function simulation. Yes, sure. Save the waveform. So over here, it's running the simulation. And there you go. It showed that the LED matches the switch. See how that works? And you can simulate anything by using waveforms. Now, on um, your options, make sure you have the Quartus 2 simulator. Yep, press OK. Sometimes if you don't have that on, if you don't have this on, sometimes it doesn't work. Let's run again. And there we go. Okay. Thank you guys.